What's up, my friends? I'm David Tan, the Master Chemistry Trainer for Alchemy Adventure, and you are watching the Alchemy Adventure Learning Channel, making chemistry learning a magical journey. In the previous video, I've shared with you how to use Markovnikov's rule to predict the major product when there is an electrophilic addition of Hx to an asymmetrical alkene. In today's video, I'll share with you the rationale behind the Markovnikov's rule through the understanding of mechanisms. Let's take a closer look. What we have over here is an asymmetrical alkene plus a Hx. So, with the approach of the alkene, it will polarize the electron cloud of the Hx molecule, giving the hydrogen atom a partial positive charge and the X atom a partial negative charge. And during the process, there is a heterolytic fission of the Hx bond. So this is a slow step because it involves the breaking of a carbon-carbon pi bond to form the carbocation. It involves the carbon-carbon pi bond, not the carbon-carbon sigma bond because the carbon-carbon pi bond is weaker than the carbon-carbon sigma bond. Since pi bond is weaker than a sigma bond, it has to be broken first. However, based on a drawing, you may not appreciate this fact. However, I have to tell you that effectively, it is the pi bond that gets broken. So, for our slow step, there are two possible cations that could be formed or they are formed. So, we need to see which carbocation is actually more stable. The stability of the carbocation depends on the number of R groups it has. R groups refers to alkyl groups. And alkyl groups is electron donating by nature. Therefore, with more electron donating alkyl groups, the carbocation will be more stable because the electron donating effect will minimize or disperse the positive charge on the carbon so the carbocation becomes more stable. So let's look at the carbocation on the left. It has one R group and one R group. So it has two R groups. Whereas the carbocation on the right has only one R group. Now, how do you know how many R groups it has? The key emphasis is look at the carbon atoms. This carbon atom bearing a positive charge is connected to two carbon atoms, whereas this carbon atom bearing a positive charge is connected to only one carbon atom. We do not care what the R group is. We care about the carbon atom that is immediately bonded to this carbon atom bearing the positive charge. So since this carbocation is more stable, I will erase the less stable carbocations so that I can carry on with my mechanism drawing. Now, due to the heterolytic fission of the Hx bond, besides the formation of carbocations, X minus is also formed. So, there is mutual attraction between the positive charge carbocation and the negative charge x minus therefore this is a far step and we will form this okay i think i should use a black ink we will form this as the major product. With that, I conclude today's video. Hey guys, 
Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up below. If you have any question regarding this video, leave your comment below and I'll respond to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Once again, thanks for watching and happy learning!